All right, we'll get started. Uh, my name is Tom Landman. The name of the band is Sweet Heat, and I'll get into who's up here with me once we play a little bit. This first tune is a thing I wrote for a band in New Orleans named Luther Kenton and Trick Bag. Um, and uh, if you ever get the chance to hear that band, it's a, a real treat. This is called This Bone's on Fire. Gonna get into some New Orleans music here. There's a group down there that was very influential called the Meters. And this is called Hey Pocky Way. And you'll hear some people play. You heard uh, Chris play on that tune. Um, you'll hear Chris play and Dick Goodwin play. And you'll hear Mike Wilkinson play. And I will introduce the band while I'm talking about people. This is Terry Trinham on bass, um, Scott Burkholder on drums, Chris Bussell on sax and flute, Mike Wilkinson, who is taking Bruce Clark's place tonight. Bruce is a little indisposed and couldn't make it. Uh, Mike uh, is the, the trombone teacher at the University of South Carolina and a recording artist and everything else. Uh, Dick Goodwin this plays the second trumpet in the solo trumpet book, and Charlie Polk plays the lead trumpet book. Um, this is basic to the New Orleans repertoire, and uh, you're, you're supposed to know this one if you're from down there. I'm from Baton Rouge, so I, I learned this one at a relatively young age. Ready? Thank you. Thank you. 
car Makes no difference where you are Feel good music in your soul Way. Our uh, normal singer is regular guy, it's indisposed, and so we have a guest tonight who Chris brings. Um, Chris is also the sax player for a band named The Root Doctors, and one of the vocalists for The Root Doctors is Walter Hemingway, and we brought him here. He's going to Instead of y'all having to listen to me sing, um, he's going to sing some, which is much, much better. And um, we're going to do a, a Curtis Mayfield tune, the Impressions, kind of a gospel thing. And it's called People Get Ready. thing instrumental you'll hear uh, Chris play and you'll hear uh, Mike play it's uh, a blues and it's got what's what musicians call substitute changes in it so you hear some stuff inside going on um, and it's called clan 145 
Clan 145. We're going to play um, a couple of uh, tunes by Jesse Winchester. We played them. Uh, we were here in October, and we were here in August. We were supposed to be back here in January, but um, the virus was a problem, and I had some surgery, and so that just didn't happen. So uh, we decided to come now uh, that I can walk, so it's, it's a good thing. Uh, <laughs> the first one is a, is a tune that's sort of near and dear to my heart. Jesse Winchester was born in Shreveport, and he's a Southern, was a Southern guy. He died of, several years ago. Um, but it's a, about a sort of a, a tableau in a small town, and I have a picture of this in my phone. It's my grandparents' grave, and it has all the elements of the lyrics of this song um, in it. And uh, you'll hear, uh, I, I use a couple of war horse Christian hymns, Everybody Knows Amazing Grace, and a lot of the Baptist people use uh, softly and tenderly, um, and I kind of meld them together toward the end. But anyway, this is called Mississippi, You're on My Mind. Mississippi, you're on my mind. Mississippi, you're on my mind. Oh, Mississippi, you're on my mind. I think I hear a noisy old John Deere in a field specked with thirty. the old dirty creek and there you'll find the sweet green leaves of mint Mississippi you're on my mind Mississippi you're on my mind Mississippi you're on my mind Look at heat angry oven heat Showing you the kind of range Jesse Winchester has. Uh, this tune was actually recorded by some people and got some airtime. Um, I did sort of a funk arrangement for it. I thought it lent itself to that. Um, it's called Rumba Man. It's about a guy who is trying to impress um, his old girlfriend with how well he can dance and. Uh, the dance he chooses is the rumba, which is kind of a passe thing. But anyway, uh, this one's called Rumba Man. And 
you'll hear uh, Mike's going to play, and uh, Chris is going to play a little bit. And then we're going to have a horn, what's called a horn solely. It's a build-up thing. Uh, but there's a lot of horn work in here, and this is, this is uh, kind of what I wrote it for, let, let the band play a little bit as a band. Okay. Um, Rama Man.
And I'm still doing the wrong, but baby, I'm still the man for you. Yes, I'm still doing the wrong, but baby, I can't seem to quit. Mama, my cat, she's just doing the wrong, but my mama would show that you're fair. I can't help it myself, it's much bigger than me. If I were you, I'd hang on to a rumble man like me. If I were you, a man like me. Jesse Winchester's Rumba Man. We're going to play a tune that's a, a short, sort of a, what I would call a, a vignette. It's uh, just, a, just a picture um, that I heard a long time ago, and I wrote an arrangement for big band of it, and I wrote it down to this size band. And uh, you'll hear Dick play a little solo and uh, Michael play a little bit and then Charlie will play a little bit on the end. So this is called Harvey's Tune. Walter back up. Where is Walter? There he is. This one is a tune from the Memphis side of soul music. It uh, was written by Otis Redding and a man named Steve Cropper, who was the guitar player for the band Booker T and the MGs, which is the house band at Stax Records back in the day. And he's still active. Um, this is called Mr. Pitiful. Two. 
Walter Hemingway, and we're going to do um, an old soul tune. Uh, although this is not this is not Memphis soul, this is what I would call Atlantic soul, which is the Aretha Franklin, Wilson Pickett thing. Um, and uh, it's called six three four five seven eight nine. Ready? Not too slow. One, two, I want two, three. <laughs> If you need a little loving, call on me. If you want a little hugging, call on me, baby. Oh, I'll be right here at home. All you gotta do is pick up the telephone. 
we're going to get back to some, get back, we haven't really played any yet. Um, we're going to get to some of the music we all know and love up here. Um, we've all played in bands that do this. It's big band music. And some of the best big band music is, uh, I think, is Count Basie. And this is, uh, comes from a, the Basie band of the late 50s called the Atomic Band. And there was a man named Neil Hefty who wrote just about that entire record. And uh, this is kind of a classic Basie chart arrangement called Splanky. Thank you. 
Thank you. Continuing in a jazz vein, there uh, is a set of chord changes that's kind of holy to most jazz musicians. Uh, it's, it, there are music schools I have heard of that you have to be able to improvise in all 12 keys to these jet, these changes or else they won't let you in. I know I didn't go to that music school, but um, it's called rhythm changes. It's the, it's the changes to George Gershwin's I Got Rhythm. These changes aren't, are approximate those changes, but they're not uh, the inside stuff that gets done toward the end of the, of the A form. I didn't put that in here. Um, but this basically follows that same form. Uh, you'll hear uh, Chris play a solo, you'll hear Mike play a solo, and last you'll hear Dick play a solo. And I get some things going on in here. The reason I call it Fwig, the name of the song is Fwig, the IG is Ira and George Gershwin, the FW is Fred and Wilma from the Flintstones, because we'll start off playing the Flintstones theme, which uh, is played over rhythm changes. It was composed over rhythm changes. So this is called Fwig. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Purcell, Mike Wilkinson, Dick Goodwin, and you know we forget about the bass player and the drummer, but that that stuff is hard to play. It's, it's hard to play. That's called humping on a bass. That's what that's called. We're gonna get back to some. <laughs> we're gonna get back to some soul music. This time, Atlantic soul. Um, this is Wilson Pickett. It's called Mustang Sally. And Walter's gonna sing it, which is the the, the best news of all. <laughs> yeah, same key. Cool. It's on me. Ready? Mustang Sally Yeah I think you better slow your Mustang down
Austin McSally, Walter Hemingway. Walter. All right, well. I'm going to go back to New Orleans uh, to the other tune we have in a book called Ico Ico. And we'll play it. This should be an adventure. Take your request from the band. Okay, we'll 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 uh, yeah, we give a family feud. Yeah, everybody knows that one. This is the thing I wrote for some friends of mine in Baton Rouge that are having arguments in their band. So, and we've been playing. I've been I had been doing music with these guys for since. I was a teenager, so they, I wrote this for them, and it's, um, it's called Family Feud, and we have not rehearsed this, so we'll just play it. Go to Ants. Go to Ants. Just don't say anything like that. <laughs> 